Bow. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm back with another episode of Ask Brand Man, where every Wednesday I answer your questions from the comment section below. Now, for today, I'm only going to answer one question because I'm trying to test something out. I want to see how it goes, how it flows. But bear with me, and I'm going to get right into question numero uno. It's the network. The Sun Collective 147 said, Yo, KPI data is hard to get. For instance, how many of my followers are actually engaged? Spotify don't show that kind of stuff. How can I work out how many hardcore fans I got? I got people who follow me on IG and like me on IG, but I don't know if they're listening to my music on Spotify. That's a very valid point. You don't know, right? So how do you figure this out, right? How do I figure this out? Because, yo, The Sun Collective says... If these people on Instagram aren't listening to my music, I'll completely forget about it, which, you know, I can't blame them for that. Now, let's get into it because there's a couple of ways to approach this. And it's really important to be identify your true fan base, right? Or the people who are really, really hardcore engaging with you. Let's start there before we get into words like true fan base. It gets overused. All right. Now, number one, we're going to go from IG. All right, I'm going to talk specifically on that side. Then we're going to talk about Spotify in the second part. And then lastly, I'm going to throw in a bonus in terms of how you can identify your fan base. So well, number one, how do you identify your fan base and if they're listening to your music on Instagram? Well, first and foremost, all you can do is just post, right? You can just post and say, I got this new song out. Go listen. How many people actually went over to Spotify? Don't say anything about it on Spotify. Yes, there might already be some data on Spotify. So before you actually try this, I would actually post on Spotify. If you already have like a natural organic fan, fan, um, fan base over there, post, give it a few days, right? Because you might get a boost of like 10, 50 listens, depending on what your organic fan base is over there, right? And see what, uh, and let that level out, right? Now that that's leveled out to 10 listeners a day, a thousand listeners to a day, zero listens at all, you, you know, that whatever that is for you, once that's level out, then post on Instagram, say, go listen to my stuff. Now, one post likely isn't going to be enough, right? Because it's Instagram. They're not going to show all of your fans or all of your followers, all of your music, right? I mean, all of your posts. We just know that. So what you need to do is a full content campaign. Go five days straight. Right and say, yo, check this song out. Create different pieces of content around that song, right? And post those and and push over to Spotify or Apple, right? For each one, whatever makes sense, right? But your DSPs, all right. Once you push those people over and you have that hardcore campaign where you're doing five posts, one a day for a full week, right? On your on your regular feed, and then do at least three posts on your story feed throughout that week. Now. You see how many people have gone over and listened, all right? That's going to give you a certain amount of data. And this isn't a worrying about, oh, you know, I'm trying to maximize this particular song at this point, right? We, we got to stick to the goal. The goal for this is to see how many people are actually listening and engaged with me to the point that they were listening go over from Instagram, right? That's number one, all right? So first you got, hey, just post one one post, then you can do it seriously where you post multiple posts to a, fi uh, a full content campaign, all right? Last but not least though, we gotta, you know, we gotta keep it real. We already know that when it comes to to, uh, to Instagram, they're not gonna show all your fans even when you do a full scale content campaign. So what you can do then on top of that is create a custom audience on Facebook, right? So you go to Facebook, you know, you go to audiences, you go to create audience, your your custom audience, then you go to Instagram, right? So you go to your Instagram profile and it's going to give you the, the option to target people who have engaged with your profile. It's not going to just be followers, unfortunately, but it's going to be people who engage in general. You create that custom audience and then you can run an ad targeting that audience. So all these people who have, are, are interacting and engaging with you and for most people, the majority will be the people who are following them, right? Unless you're just coming off some kind of crazy campaign where you had a lot of uh, influx of people from the outside. Once you have that, right? So now you have your content campaign, right? So it's fleshed everything out and saw who came organically. And then you show even more people, right? From this, this ad, this only targeting people that actually follow you, have actually engaged. So now you can know out of all these interactions that I'm getting, 
how many of these people actually are likely going over to Spotify and, and messing with me on Apple or whatever that is that, you know, your main platform is either or, right? So that's going to give you a sense just how you flesh out through your Instagram profile over to your DSP to know, yo, this is how many people are really music listeners and really fans of that sort on my Instagram, right? Now, Spotify is a completely different story. So that's just testing on your Instagram who your music listeners are and fans. Spotify, this is how you test to see out of your Spotify data, who are the people who actually are your fans, right? The people who are really engaging with you. And for this example, I'm gonna use these numbers out here, up here. This is a real client at our agency. And here's some stats he's working with. He has 15.9 thousand followers, right? He has 523, well, 521.3 thousand monthly listeners. That's a huge gap, right? But there's a lot of people who have that huge gap, right? You got over 500K monthly listeners, but you only have 14.9 thousand followers. Get this. Because what happens in this case for, for this particular artist, he had a song go crazy viral, right? Now, his top song, and I don't know how Spotify worked this out in particular. His top song in the last 28 days currently got 555,000 <laughs> monthly listeners, all right? More than the actual monthly listeners as a whole, the profile. I don't, I don't know how Spotify worked that out, but ignore that. Sometimes there's many discrepancies, whatever. What you can do, all right, is one, release a track, see how many people organically come over and listen to it, right? Because you have your monthly follower, I mean, you have your followers, but the reality is when you actually drop your music, those people who are actually following you, you're going to show up on their new play, on, on their playlist, right, as the new releases. Now, when that happens, how many of those people are actually going to go listen? All right, how many, now you can't blame it on everybody. It's not a full cut scale marketing campaign, just like any social media platform as well. Everybody's not gonna see it, but how many do you get just off of dropping something organically as a new release on Spotify? That's gonna tell you something. That's one way to do it. And then the most effective way that you can do it without having to drop something, right, on, on, um, on Spotify new and just using your current data is this right here, right? So this is top song, 555,000. Ignore your top song, right? And ignore if a song that's currently being marketed, right? You have method number one, method number two, this is how you do it. Ignore your top song, um, ignore whatever's currently being marketed and look at your top five songs outside of the, you know, your next top five songs. So that's song number two through six. For him, 2,100 monthly listeners, 2,000 plus 1,500 plus 873 monthly listeners in the last 28 days, 844 monthly listeners, monthly listeners in the last 28 days. That equals 7,317 people, but of course, gotta divide by five. And in this particular case, that's gonna be 1,463. That's a horrible three, all right? So, <laughs> horrible three. But so this is his data, right? He has 15.9 thousand monthly followers. I mean, he has 15.9 thousand followers, but eh, 1,463 is the number that he should probably be looking at in terms of like, yo, these people rock with me, right? Because he has 555 thousand listens to this song that went viral. But in terms of what translated past that and people who know more about him, people who are likely to know his actual name, you, you go to those other songs and these songs include, right? This is 2001, right? He has like one or two songs in 2001, uh, two or three from, no, one song from 2001, three songs from 2020 and like two or one song from 2018 in these tops, right? So that's a good indication. They're not even all recently dropped songs for who just rocks with him and who just likes his music, all right? These two are the oldest ones. Now, with that being said, all right, this is your reality, all right? So ignore the monthly listeners. That's nice. Ignore the followers because your followers aren't always engaged. 
Who are the people who are just listening to you without you having to do anything, without you having to market a song currently, without being just your popping song because it went viral or whatever happened around it? That's how you really want to look at your most engaged music fans on Spotify, right? All right you have the Instagram to, to filter that method that I did. We'll probably clip that and make that its own separate video, right? You have that method. To, to check out so go over there check that out and, and siphoning your real music fans but then these people on spotify these are people who are more likely to know you in an instagram type fashion in terms of the this 1463 people why do they know you more likely one because if i listen to five of your songs all right if i'm listening to your less known songs i probably know you as an artist Right, I'm not just yo. This is a viral song that I know, and it's by some guy. Maybe I know the name of the, the, the guy's song. I'm the name of the guy. No, I probably pay attention to this artist beyond this, and I definitely know them and would recognize their name if they pop up if I'm listening to their lesser known songs. All right, so that's Spotify and that's Instagram, and then last but not least is if you're on a Instagram. Um, any of your social media platforms, because you can also use the Instagram method to siphon out your real fans from TikTok or anything else like that. The, another method is simply running ad campaigns to your followers over to some sort of email list or text list, something like that. All right. Because those people who are actually moving, right, especially if you're trading them a song. Not just like something like a laptop or something super, super appealing, just music and people who are willing to go over that small little barrier of giving their email, giving your number. That's also going to give you a very realistic perspective of who your fans are, right? Who actually cares about your music enough out of that Instagram world you got going on, TikTok world, YouTube, whatever that is. And you can use a content strategy for that as well. The content strategy I mentioned in an Instagram video, you can apply that over to your email campaign. You don't have to push them over to, to Spotify, right? You can do any of those things, but that's how you siphon out your fan bases from Spotify, any DSP really, um, but, and then also social media. All right, so that's it. I appreciate you once again. Um, the Sun Collective 147, great question. And of course, everybody, again, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Um, always gonna answer those from the comment section below. If I do not answer it immediately, it doesn't mean I'm not gonna answer it. It's some things I wanna take more time to answer. I'm some, some of these days I'm answering a little bit on the fly. I don't, I don't, have to, I don't get a chance to actually uh, build something out, but other than that, of course, if you want to talk to me even more often or ask some questions and get things specific to you, you can hop over in brandmannetwork.com where we really can uh, get some specifics around you personally as, as opposed to some of these more general questions and, and help you along your artist journey. All right. Just like I almost like burped some right there for a second. But that's besides the point. Anyway, as always, if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.